You'll stuck in a video game for one week. You can't use any cheat code and if you die in the game you die in real life. But everything you win or earn in the game, money, cars, houses, will be brought to your life. Which video game do you choose and what do you do? Stardew Valley. Free house. Land. Money and dog cat. And X200B. Also potential spouse if you wanna go that way. Venture capitalist. Sim City. Then I own a whole town when it is over. Katamari Damacy. I would have everything. Some Roblox Tycoon Simulator. 0% chance of death and lots of money without me having to really do all that much. Pokemon. Because you can't die in it. Forza Horizon 4. So many cars. Minecraft on peaceful mode. I'll just go mine for diamonds and gold and stack up on expensive materials until I return to the real world. Animal Crossing. I probably would become the mayor with no context. Edit. Specifically New Leaf. GTA. Cause you never die. You only ever go to the hospital. Proceed to make bank stealing and selling cars. And speedrunning the campaign. Getting millions. Then investing in stock. Getting billions. Stardew Valley. Spider-Man. The cool part is that all the suits that I get will come back with me. Skyrim. Wait a week. Done. You cannot wait while enemies are nearby. Subnautica. I can chill in the surface level biomes. Collect gems and precious metals from the area. Build the seamoth and or prawn suit to bring back with me. I would take a risk and go with Skyrim. There is an artifact in the Elder Scrolls universe called the Skeleton Key. Now, normally, it's just an unbreakable lockpick, at least for gameplay purposes. In the lore, it's a key that can open any lock, but as is revealed during its related questline, it can actually open any obstacle. Any obstacle. Meaning it can, say, open a rift between Mundus and Oblivion, its primary purpose in the Twilight Sepulchre, but it can go further than that, it can actually overcome metaphysical obstacles opening your mind to new ideas and abilities, allowing you to unlock your potential, properly used, it is probably the most powerful Diedrich artifact in Tez games, and during the course of the Thieves Guild questline, you hold the key for a little while, with some precognition, you could get it much sooner as well, I could use my knowledge of where some of the best items are to make myself much more powerful straight away, since I'm only there for a week. It doesn't even matter if someone is after me as long as I can evade for a week. So, I go through the Thieves Guild questline, get the key, and refuse to return it to the sepulchre, instead keeping it for myself to use in the real world. I can use the key to unlock any security to improve my abilities and speed up my learning, with the spells and other artifacts I earn there, like the Archmage's robes which I can steal, I can do powerful magic as well, and then I can do whatever suits me, nobody can stop me, and I can keep a low profile anyway. Any of those idle games, like Idle Miner comes to mind, you can't die in the game, and the money earnings are simply astronomical. In that game I'd hop in as a manager and just order the miners to keep digging. Wario Land I, 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 it's a game about winning treasure. There's only one way to die, and that's the final boss. I won't fight the final boss. He asks you to get him stuff, and I'll just make excuses for a week he can't do anything unless I get him the stuff, and I just get a bunch of treasure and sell it off later. Dark Souls Minecraft is incredibly easy if you are careful to always sleep at night so monsters don't spawn. Three days is plenty of time to get some gold and diamonds very carefully mined. Could probably go the whole time without even taking any damage day one full focus on getting wool for a bed. And enough food and wood to last the next day's day 26 careful strip mining. Dodging any cave so there's no risk could easily come back with millions in gold and diamonds. Maybe billions. Warframe. Knowing the community. People would hopefully protect me to make sure I don't die. And after the week is over. I get a frame and various weapons. Where do I sign up edit? I am seeing a few people talk about content. And yes. I have played the war within. But hush now. 
worms. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise for others, hum? Any Harry Potter game, I'd get a wand and magic stuff, plus the tasty candies. Nicopra, you capitalists don't know true bliss until you are surrounded by domestic cat girls. Alchemy. I can make an ass load of ancient money which are highly valuable and even more so in perfect condition and I get to be a god and fight demons. For the horizon for it would be super, super fun and I would also make tens of millions of dollars due to the glitches. Animal Crossing end up with a nice furnished house. It's easy to make money. And you end up with a bunch of cool friends. I'll eat. Dangerous. Billions of dollars in spaceships. The Sims. Cause it's the only fucking game I know how to play and I could become a farmer and make hella money. Slime Rancher. Make lots of money farming adorable slime creatures with very low risk of dying. Outward. Because you can't really die in that game, you just wake up somewhere else a day or two later. Money and magical powers are pretty easy to get. Two. Mafia Wars. Literally no chance of death step two. Profit. Majora's Marweight. Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's literally impossible to die in this game and I can win around half a million on my own over 2 million with my employees. Fable 2. I'd work my ass off and become a landlord and get a hot wife or two. Hopefully the income of gold would still apply I roll. Stardew Valley. You never actually die in that game. And you inherit a farm on day one. If I'm in the game for an IRL week, not an in-game week, Stardew Valley, I'll be a multimillionaire in five in-game years. Tops, almost 0% chance of dying if I stay out of the mines or house flipper. 0% chance of dying. I'd walk away with tons of money and property, and x200b, and x200b. Wheel of Fortune. Minecraft. I'd be rolling in diamonds. One of those money clicking games. Roam around beautiful places in Zelda. Earn diamonds and find interesting stuff. DOA Volleyball Extreme. I'd love spend my last days just people watching before the island blew up. Stardew Valley. As long as I stay away from the caves. I could do some serious work assuming that in-game days do not count as the days I spend in the game since they are so much shorter. Roy 4. Become neutral. Don't participate in any wars and boom now you're the leader of a country. Thank you. Thanks for watching our videos. We work hard to make sure you keep coming back for the content we produce. And if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe our channel. We would love to hear your own stories in the comment section below.